Hi there and welcome back my friends to Stellaris Megacorps Incorporated. This is Ivan Vulcan and we're going to design a Titan because we need a Titan to probably defend ourselves against the awakened fallen empire. Let's see what we can do. We would love energy weapons because energy weapons is our thing. Well, we only have the perdition beam. That is the iron cannon. It has no real type of uh, energy, so just go for that. And let's see, I mean, cloud lighting would be cool, but we have, with that big range, 130 would, wouldn't be bad, wouldn't be bad. Let's see what we can use there that would make sense. I mean, a mixture of neutron launchers and kinetic artillery would make sense, but we want energy weapons. Neutron launchers are not good against shields. Null void beams, though, are. But they do very meager damage. They do, however, good shield damage, but only shield damage. Beyond that, there's nothing. Mm. Cloud lightning would ignore everything. We have to be very close. That's a big disadvantage. One hundred percent armor and fifty percent hull damage, but range only eighty. That's really terrible. I mean, the neutron launchers are pretty, pretty good. Ah, I mean, they also have a big, big range, so. We might have to go for for a strange mix neutron launches and null void beams. Let's see. Let's let's give us three of each. I don't know. Now that makes no sense. Like two of these and the rest is neutron launches. There's a lot of damage and some shields. The offensive aura, shielded points going down, ship fire rate going down. Yeah, I think that would be better, right? Or our own fire rate going up. Better than the opposite ships going down by 10%. That's, I think, better. So let's see how many hyper shields are we getting in there. On the other hand, it could also be a strange tactic that could be pretty good to um, actually just remove the shields from afar with our titans with large null void beams, because they're pretty good for that. No doubt about that. Because of their range, it's incredible. And then... That the, the bulk of our ships take over and ruin their day with... Let's see... Large plasma cannon. Or just plasma cannons, so that could be that. Mm. Could have better shields. Seven thousands. Could have so many shields here. Ooh. I mean, look at that. Could 
who just go shield capacitors. 11,000. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm. I mean, what's going on there? Kaboom. We'll try that. We'll try. That's a very extreme design, but okay. The shield class, because... And then an offensive aura is probably not good. I think we'll have the inspiring prisons. Mm. The saving combat computer artillery, that's the only option. Okay, then we'll choose that option. It's not like we're not flexible. Jump drive, yeah. The shield class, and then mm. we can see about our battleships. These are ignoring shields. The combine B. Has that combination. Now we do want to go into full energy weapons. So Cloud Lightning wouldn't be too bad, but really, yeah, that's the counterpart. A counterpart to the Titans are the Neutron Launcher battleships here. The Energetic class. And then we can go for cruisers again. They are just neutral. They have these penetration things. Mm, the energetic class. Yeah, that's all upgraded and true. I think that's how we should handle that. And finally... Shipyards. Let's go for a shield class titan. Or two even. And then we need some energetic class battleships as well. That's gonna be crazy, I know. Um... Mm, actually, that's maybe a little bit much. Let's let's just start with the Titans for now. Want to add the, those two Titans to the fleet, and that should be good. Neptune habitat going up well up there. Ring 1C. Nice. Getting a lot of food. Jupiter is fine soon. We can bring that down a bit like this. Glory of Humanity has finished its queue. Nice. And yeah, the next one will be the Gene Clinics, of course. Let's see, what will, we'll, what will we need? We'll need a lot of food. Once the food is over... But we'll get tons of fruit from our food colony. Yeah, we have to specialize. So we are still jobs open. Hmm. So we don't have a problem yet. So we don't have to care about it yet. <laughs> the difficult things and 
Wait. No housing. Build a habitation district and then. Uh, no, actually we want jobs first. So we'll go for research institute for no. It's a little interesting, I'm admitting that. Civilian industries. Mm. No, we actually we want we want that to go out then but that then we are missing some jobs. Buildings with a lot of jobs. First, and that's what this should reflect. We can further decrease the consumer goods we buy. That's okay as well. More declared. Uh, the Spiron Conservus, a state and descendancy. They're declaring also war on the ah, on the Celtic. A reason to be disturbing us. The Pantheon. They are now benevolent interventionists, arrogant and overwhelming. We can use even more. So let's go for that. Upscaling complete. Jupiter habitat is fine. More Ripley complexes. Even more consumer goods. The prices are falling. Because we don't buy anymore, and we're probably ruining the whole galaxy with our with our strategy now. Absolutely. If they even use the galactic market, I don't know it. Um, what do we have here? Mm, Hall of Judgment. Military Academy, Precinct Houses, we have it all! We have it now. Ministry of Production. Not really, I mean we could not start now with the, with the civilians. Because there's still, there's still a lot we need. We'll need in the future. Look, Michael Corwini leveled up. Nice, so nice. And here, five clerk jobs open. We'll need more food too. Yeah, look, it's, yeah, that's definitely a revolution that we're, we're getting our consumer goods stuff back. And we will now, let's see, can we, can we open up? No. Upsthoth. Kautan. Oh, yeah. Upscaling Establish complete. that. Growth discouraged. What's going on here? Unlocks at 25 pops. They're sending people away? Why are they doing that? Uh, well, we're producing something. It's okay. The rainness is ready. Good. 
Good, good, good. Wow, the food. The food. Really need more food. How is that gonna be? So much food. Jupiter is fine. Do we have the ministry? I think we should give us the ministry of production. Not right now. It has time. It makes so, so much economic sense. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So much income. Exotic gases and rare crystals. We need to buy more. Exotic gases and rare crystals. up there and that's also good and we can decrease the consumer goods stuff again what's happening there why are we at 3k there already a shortage of volatile modes again Well per unit, yeah, let's go for more. The moats, the moats. Everything is gonna be nice, I'm sure. Serious Prime, our great mining world. The serious habitat. Oh. There's a question. A Ministry of Production. Or do we have that already? I think we have that already here. Mm. Alloy foundries. Precinct houses. At least once that makes sense, right? Or strongholds. Oh, let's start with the stronghold for the housing. Upscaling complete. Slowly we're getting there. Where we want them to be. So many energy credits. Let's look into further stuff, as they say. Who's called Blessed Foundation? I'm not even sure what these guys want. Look, that's the Shazarak Continuum. The Ancient Caretakers. They're leaving us in peace for now. Let's see what we have here. In Sonoref or something. Mm. Mm. Need a commercial pact with the Ildar Con Concordat and they hate us for that. Because they have too many commercial pacts already. Already, that, that makes sense somehow. Mm, oops, Thoth. Kautan and Wutar. That's actually a real planet, so here we go. An 
agricultural one. Revoking, aha. Uh -huh. The return of the Pantheon to the galactic scene has not gone unnoticed by the other fallen empires present in our galaxy, the Rax Thalak. Watchers in particular appeared most agitated at the news. It seems that these two precursors are ancient rivals. And though the reasons for the rivalry has long since faded into history, the sudden reawakening of the Pentheon mediators has inflamed old animosities and triggered a counter-reaction. The Raxthalak fanatics have roused themselves from their slumber to face their old rivals with the whole galaxy as their battleground. What will that mean for us all? No! The Raxthalak fanatics. Fanatic spiritualists. Ah! The fleet power, though, is only superior to us. That shall change. How's our fleet, by the way? We have a fleet? Come on, fleet. Show yourself. Protection fleet. We can merge this. Hmm. 34k. Hmm. I believe after the Titans, this will be... Uh, yeah, we'll need a new fleet then. But that's also no problem. Let's see, we have one shipyard here. Uh, I think we'll go for the energetics mixed with... Strike throughs. Hmm. The strike throughs make no sense with the setup, so we'll need to modify them. The cruisers, look, the, the, the cruisers in the picture look bigger than the battleship. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So maybe go for a mix, but we need energy weapons. So, let's see. Large, medium, large, medium. Will be the strike through two. It's not gonna be the strike through, it's the energetic. Energetic C. Loud lightnings, we could give them <laughs> null void beams. Mm, not really, I think we're going go, 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 going to go for some close range attacks. Or rather close range. We have large, this 80, and this one medium is 90. I think that's an interesting combination here. Go for some hyper shields. Hyper, hyper. The fire control makes sense. Line or artillery. We can go artillery. Fire rate, chance to hit, fire rate, weapons range. Yeah, that makes sense, the energetic C. Hmm. 
We want that. We want that combination. <coughs> I'm sorry. We, it makes sense to us. It just makes sense mm, to have that going. Research actualized. Cell revitalization again. Complete. Eleven. Will that ever stop? <coughs> now it stops, and Dr. Frankenstein already gets nervous. And now, um, what would he go for? Administrative capacity or food <coughs> from jobs? No, I think administrative capacity is a no-brainer. It's just so helpful. That habitat's ready, and we can yeah, upgrade to fortress. Here we go, and already buy 10 less here. And we look into now buying the special resources for effects. Sensor range, land clearance, terraforming gases. Don't need that. Fuel. Oh, that's something we can really need later on. With these bonuses, but the rest. All of these energy credits. Probably not that great. And uh, no. I believe we could build habitats again. It would make sense to build one habitat or something like that. Maybe in the Alpha Centauri. The Angola going over here and then one of these, why not? Here we go. We're waiting. Here is superior. Wow. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> uh. Just administ administrative capacity is just so good at that. Makes everything we do just better, just like that. The Rax Thalak fanatics are now superior. That is going to be interesting because, as I said, they are very close. They'll target the Baterians, the Ildar, and then they are already at our friends or Redas. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be really tight. See, can we get more into our connection here? The Twaxel doors. Nope. Upscaling complete. I believe I believe we have we've established a lot already everywhere. 
It's always all good. Research agreement. The serious habitat. Oh, still we need something. Okay. Still we need. We constantly need less from outside. That's also the plan. All of acquisitions. Research actualized. Yeah, the Galactic Stock Exchange is probably a good idea here. And now, flash cool and energy weapon attack speed plus 5%. New developments in tech cooling regularly surface, improving the stability and efficiency of our weapon systems, keeping them from blowing up the ships upon which they are mounted. And now... Go for more shield hit points. Because we read it. It's gonna be crazy. So, Geneva. Mm. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Kahn signing out. Have a great time until next time. When we expand our influence further and, and once we have done that, build the greatest fleet ever. See you.